Hello Astro Kids and welcome back to my channel. This is the 2019 August horoscope for the sign Virgo. So if you are Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, this may resonate with you. Thank you if you are watching this on Patreon for supporting me as a patron. If you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like button, to hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel, and also to leave a comment on how this resonated with you or can help you in any way. All right, so while I am shuffling, and these are the decks that I will be using, I have the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle deck, the Rider Tarot deck, the Connolly Tarot deck, and playing cards. And while I am shuffling out the cards that I will be interpreting for you, I'm going to go through the list of transits for the month of August. All right, so let's get right into this. So already you can see that I have some cards laid out for the month of September. So this will be something that we will go over later on in the reading. This will be a quick little sneak peek at what's to come in the month of September. So first of all, on August 1st, we start off with Mercury being direct. And we are coming off of a new moon in Leo, which will happen very late on July 31st. And then we have a few moons in between. We have the moon moving into Virgo, where it will be more structured, more analytical. And then we move into Libra, where we are really given the opportunity to bring things in our life into balance, into harmony. And then the moon moves into Scorpio, where we are faced with our deepest feelings and desires. So the things, the insecurities, the fears, the things that we really need to face, that we tend to bury within us, those things will reemerge as the moon comes into Scorpio. So this is a great opportunity to work on those areas in your life. And then the moon will move into Sagittarius where we will start to seek out the wisdom and knowledge and understanding within our life, trying to find meaning and reasoning within our life. And on August 11th, we have a few things happening. We have Jupiter coming direct. So for those of you who did not know, Jupiter has been retrograde in its home sign of Sagittarius, sort of putting us in this observational mode where we really get to visualize and look ahead at what we want to see unfold in our lives. And as it comes direct, this gives us the opportunity to actually start to implement these things that we've been visualizing or that we have been really focusing on in our lives. And it brings a lot of good fortune, lessons, challenges, blessings into our life. This is Jupiter energy. This is expansive and it's in its home sign of Sagittarius. So this has a lot of challenges and lessons and overall blessings to bring into our life. On the same day, Mercury enters Leo. And as of right now, Mercury is retrograde in Cancer. So by this time, Mercury will be direct. It does come direct on July 31st, giving us that opportunity to start out the month of August with Mercury direct. Now, on August 11th, when Mercury enters Leo, it will still be in post-shadow. So we will still sort of be coming 
off of this Mercury in retrograde, sort of easing back into direct motion into our life. And so as Mercury enters Leo, this gives us the confidence, the boldness, the assertiveness in the way that we communicate, in the way that we think, the way that we express and exchange our thoughts and information. And on the same day, we have Uranus stationing retrograde. And Uranus retrograde will be breaking down or destroying the old things that no longer serve us. Uranus is about bringing liberation and freedom into our lives, bringing us to this higher state of being. And so Uranus will destroy and remove the things that no longer serve us, especially with Uranus transiting through Taurus, which if those of you did not know, this is a new generational revolution that we have been going through with this Uranus and Taurus. And with this retrograde happening in Taurus, this is definitely focusing on breaking down old values and old belief systems that no longer serve us. And then we have the moon move into Capricorn, where we start to become a bit detached and serious, very focused in the task and responsibilities that we have set for ourselves, and really focused in being ambitious and setting goals, achieving success. And then on August 15th, the same day that Mercury comes out of post-shadow, we have a full moon in Aquarius. And so this is very, very powerful, especially with this Uranus retrograde. Which sometimes with Uranus retrograde, we tend to not get the answers or the clarity that we are looking for. And so with this Aquarius full moon, this brings us unexpected breakthroughs and clarity into our lives. This is a very powerful full moon that is coming in. So all the answers that you have been seeking... will become clear with this full moon. And then we have the moon move into Pisces where things become a bit foggy, a bit unclear as we try to analyze or figure things out logically with this moon in Pisces. You really want to trust in your feelings and go with your intuition. That will give you a clearer picture than trying to analyze the situation in your head. Now on August 18th, Mars enters Virgo, and this is great energy for being pro productive and getting things done. This really puts the passion and the focus and energy and to being realistic, being responsible, being practical in your approach to getting things done.
On August 19th, we have Jupiter making aspects to Saturn. And this is something that we have experienced before in the past. This is hitting us with reality. So this is looking at our dreams, our ambitions, our vision. The things that we visualize ourselves achieving. And it's really letting us know if these things are realistic or not. Because sometimes with this Jupiter in Sagittarius, Neptune in Pisces energy, we tend to have these fantasies or high expectations that are not achievable. And so with this aspect to Saturn, this does let us know what is really realistic, what is really achievable, what we should actually be focusing on. Then the moon moves into Aries, where we start to feel overall more active, more passionate, more lively. You may find yourself wanting to take the initiative, to take on a new task, to be more active, more productive as the moon moves through Aries. And on August 21st, Venus enters Virgo. And this is the fall position for Venus. This is where the love, the imagination, the creativity... does not work as well as Virgo is more realistic and practical and grounded. And so this is going to affect relationships very, very strongly. You want to be cautious of not being overly critical or overanalyzing a situation as far as the relationships that you are in. Now, on the positive note, this does give you the ability to improve and work on any areas that are out of balance within your relationships. And the moon moves in Taurus, where we start to feel comfortable, safe, stable. And on August 23rd, we start Virgo season. So the sun moves into Virgo. And this is where things start to slow down a little bit. With this Leo season, there was this emphasis on fun, excitement, adventure, liveliness, really expressing straight from our hearts this boldness and as we enter virgo the energy starts to calm down starts to become more grounded more practical we really start to get hit with responsibility and tasks that need to be taken care of And a big question to ask yourself when this Virgo season starts is, are the routines or habits that you are investing your time into actually beneficial to you? And then the moon moves into Gemini, where we start to become more social, very curious, there tends to be a lot of mind chatter. We have this strong desire to learn and to experience new things in our environment. 
and then the moon moves into Cancer where the moon is right at home in Cancer and so we start to become more emotional more empathetic more compassionate and as the moon moves into Leo we become more lively more adventurous more active you may feel more comfortable in expressing your feelings and then we end the month of August with a new moon in Virgo and this new moon will be on August 30th this new moon is a portal or an access point to new responsibilities within your life to new ways to improve and work on yourself new ways to help and serve others new ways to be more practical in your life and that is the month of August there is not as much happening in the month of August compared to the month of July where we went through these eclipses and Mercury in retrograde on top of it that was very intense compared to what we are going through in the month of August so this is a much lighter time which should give you a great opportunity to work on the areas of your life that you need to work in. This Mercury in retrograde and this eclipse season really put us in a time of reflection. And so for a lot of you, it's important to come out of that time of reflection and to start to make the changes and the improvements that are necessary. So now I'm pulling from the Rider Tarot deck. Let's see if we can get a right side up card for some clarity.
Okay. There's a lot they want to say to you, Virgo. Oh, and for some reason, this was shown to me as well. The bottom of the deck. So do some of you have twin flames or soulmates that you're dealing with? That came through to me as well. Now I'm going to pull from the playing cards. Wow. Okay. So once again, Virgo, a lot is coming through for you. So first of all, we have the seven of wands. And it feels as if there is this block as far as acting on Acting on the things that you desire, the things that you want. Especially if these are material gains. It feels like there is a block in this area. So let's get deeper into this. Yeah, so once again, there is this feeling of not taking action on the things that you desire, the things that you want.
And again, I'm getting this material success or this physical achievement of some kind. This feels very, very physical or materialistic. And this is showing this block or restraint from taking this necessary action, from taking this action and actually transforming, actually doing the work to attain what it is that you desire. A lot of you are blocking yourselves from taking action. And it almost feels as if for a lot of you, you are worried or anxious about this move, this action that you must take in your life. There is this lack of belief or this holding back because you're holding on to old belief systems or old these old traditions, these old truths within your life. A lot of you are holding on to old belief systems. And it feels like you are in this place of dis-ease. It feels like your mind, as far as your mind goes, you are in this negative place. There's this inability to release these old ways of thinking, these old belief systems. This is showing me Ten of Swords because this is an area that needs to come to an end. This is an area where we need to make some kind of an ending or completion. And for a lot of you, it is because you are holding on to these old ideas these old ways of living, these old belief systems that do not serve you any longer. And again, a lot of you are unable to allow yourself to let go and receive the blessing that is coming to you. A lot of you are worried or you are anxious about what's to come. You are not in a place of harmony. Because a lot of you are stuck in this old belief system. You're not allowing yourself to surrender and to accept this gift that the universe is bringing your way for a lot of you. A lot of you need to learn to be open and receptive. A lot of you need to learn to surrender. And for some of you, you even need to learn how to open up, how to express your feelings. A lot of you are holding back what you are feeling too. There's this inability to learn, this inability to experience something new, this inability to receive this new information or these new skills, these new talents that actually help improve your life. Because a lot of you, again, are closing yourselves off to this. A lot of you need to surrender to the teachings that are coming your way. The Knight of Wands is here. So 
the way that you overcome this is by acting, taking action. Moving forward, acting on these desires that you have for yourself. These desires, these passions, these ambitions. A lot of you are not acting on what you want. A lot of you, this is about manifestation. What do you want to manifest into your life? A lot of you aren't acting on that. And once again, death in reverse. A lot of you are afraid of this death that you must go through. A lot of you are not accepting this or willing to take this on. And by death, I mean this death of these old belief systems, this transformation that you must go through. A lot of you are not accepting that. You're holding yourself back from it from this powerful life transformation that a lot of you are going to go through. You're holding yourself back from this. And again, these are the seeds that you are trying to plant. That is what this is. This is what you are trying to attain. In this physical world, this is what a lot of you are trying to manifest. But again, what you're not seeing is that you're blocking what you're trying to manifest by living in fear, by blocking this death. A lot of you are anxious or fearful. That is what I'm feeling, is this anxiety or this fear, this fear-based mindset, this traditional-based mindset, these old belief systems. So a lot of you keep in mind that you're blocking yourself from actually manifesting what you have already started to plant. It's like a lot of you don't want to give water to the seeds that you've already planted. That is what this feels like. You're blocking your ability to achieve what you've already set into motion for a lot of you. And again, this goes back to a lot of you with this inability to express your feelings. You have feelings, you have emotions. Now, for a lot of you, as a Virgo, this is a very, very physical sign. Which is perfectly fine. The challenge here, though, is allowing yourself to be emotional, allowing yourself to express that. A lot of you do not want to appear weak or do not want to express what you actually feel. And it's important that you do this even if it is just with a family member. Or with yourself. A lot of you, the word that came to mind was journal. A lot of you need to journal. You need to write down your feelings. So pay attention to that as you were going through your journey. That this is important. This is important and imperative that you express these 
feelings. And again, you're afraid of going to that crossroads. Notice, this is another seven. This is the third time that we saw the number seven come up. And a lot of this is dealing with that anxiety, that fear. A lot of you are overcomplicating things. You're doing this thing in your head where you are making this bigger or more complicated than it is. A lot of you are in this place of fear or this place of complication. And if you are not, that is because you have worked through that, which is awesome. But for a lot of you, this is where you are at. And this is what you need to work through. You can't be afraid to feel. That is what drives you, your feelings. You must express your feelings. You must face this crossroad. A lot of this energy that you're restricting yourself from feels very scorpionic. Very much about passion and feelings and transformation. That is what this feels like to me. Like a lot of you are actually restricting yourselves from this. And again, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is the outcome that you're looking for. And it's in reverse because you're restricting yourself from attaining this. Look at this. We can't make this up. Another seven. Again, a lot of you are overcomplicating things. You're in your head analyzing things way, way, way too much. There's this fear, this anxiety that I'm feeling. So this is an area where a lot of you need to work on. And this is wands. This is your passion, your action, you're blocking yourself from. Queen of Pentacles, again, block. You are blocking yourself from attaining this. This is the comfort, the stability at the end of this journey that you are looking for, that you are actually blocking yourself from by being in this place of fear or anxiety or of old belief systems for a lot of you. So this is an area that needs work and improvement. This is an area that needs to change.
the Ace of Wands again. This is that that new life that you're looking for. That new passion. That new creative outlook. That the universe is offering to you. This new beginning that a lot of you are blocking yourselves from. A lot of you aren't opening yourselves up to being willing enough to receive this. In the Hierophant in reverse, again, we saw this before. This is the second time we're seeing this. Again, a lot of you, it's about belief systems. A lot of you are still stuck in these old belief systems. Stuck in these old systems, these old structures. This attachment. And we talk about where we are right now with the moon and Taurus. This is exactly the feeling that I'm getting here. A lot of you want to stay in this place of comfort or this place of safety because it's traditional. It's the old way that you have done things before. It's familiar. You don't have to worry or be stressed out or anxious over this because it's familiar. But a lot of you aren't seeing that you're actually being called to move in a new direction. And a lot of you are asking for a new direction, but you're not acting on it. You're not doing the work to make it happen. And for a lot of you, it's because you aren't expressing your feelings. You are in your head too much over analyzing the situation. And you're blocking yourself off from receiving this. From receiving this outcome that you were looking for. For a lot of you. And the devil, again, you're tying yourself down to old belief systems, old ways of doing things. A lot of you, you're stuck. For a lot of you, you are stuck. In this old way of being, this old state of being tied down to these old commitments for a lot of you. And whether that means that this new direction is a new job, a new relationship. Whatever that means for you, personally, this is where you're being called to go. Through this gateway. And for some of you, there's even this feeling of a soulmate or a twin flame. Connection of some sort that is taking place. For some of you.
Jupiter's in reverse, again, showing us this block in abundance. There's this block in the things that are flowing in your direction, especially when it comes to the things that you want. We have Venus, your desires, the things that you value, the things that you love. Right? There's this block happening. And a lot of it has to do with old attachments. And there it is. There's that energy that I was feeling earlier. This block in this scorpionic energy. A lot of you cutting yourselves off from feeling, from transformation, from passion. A lot of you need to express your feelings and need to be vulnerable, need to accept this transformational journey that is waiting for you, for a lot of you. This is what you need. And again, it leads to the moon. Express your feelings. Be in your feelings. Just allow yourself to be in this. A lot of you just need to feel comfortable. And that comfort is not in the old way of doing things. It's not in the stability or the security. A lot of you need to actually face your insecurities. A lot of you need to be vulnerable. A lot of you need to be receptive open. A lot of you need to allow and trust in the process. Again, a lot of you have these practical desires and we saw this before with the queen of pentacles a lot of you have this desire to manifest these things into your life to be comfortable to be in a place that is well grounded but at the same time, a lot of you are blocking it as well. A lot of these old thought patterns, these old belief systems need to come to an end. Because a lot of you are in this mindset of lack, like you are lacking this physical security or this thing that you're trying to manifest. And you have to get out of that. A lot of you need to find a way to come back into harmony with the idea that you have everything that you need. And that is when you start to see these things come into your life. 
a lot of you are worrying or overanalyzing or being fearful or doing something that is old that doesn't even serve you anymore when you could be allowing the universe to bring you this you could be trusting in the process And this is something I feel very strongly for a lot of you. And this is why the cards had a lot to say for a lot of you. Because you have work on yourself that needs to be done. A lot of you are not actually expressing how you feel. A lot of you are not used to being receptive or open or just allowing. Some of you want to have this situation in control. Some of you want for things to be stable and secure. And that's exactly what's stopping you. And here it is. A lot of you are feeling stuck. And it has to do with your thoughts. A lot of you have this mindset of wanting this stability as if you don't already have it. So therefore, a lot of you are stuck in this mindset, this belief system that doesn't make sense anymore. It doesn't serve you. A lot of you are stuck. And that showed up several times. in this horoscope. A lot of you stuck. Again, there it is again. Not just in thought, but physically. The feeling of being stuck. So this is what you need and yes it's about your feelings your emotions express your feelings a lot of you are in this mindset of I don't want to cry in front of people or I don't want to look weak or I just don't feel comfortable expressing how I feel. But a lot of you need to do this. There is this new state of being that everyone on the planet almost everyone on the planet is going through. Nothing negative will happen to you if you express your feelings. Nothing. This is the 
Ace of Hearts. This is positive. A lot of you need to express how you actually feel. And it will serve you in a positive way. It'll set you on this path of new beginnings for a lot of you. For a lot of you. And that's confirmed right here. Because it's leading you to growth and expansion with the five of hearts. This, express, this expression of your feelings is leading you to growth and expansion in your life. This is powerful, so powerful. A lot of you need to express your feelings. And again, you can write it in a journal. You don't have to cry in front of anyone. But a lot of you still need to cry. A lot of you need to let out your feelings. This is so powerful. This is how you grow. So powerful. And it leads to this outcome we've been talking about. Where you become the king, the master of your own stability of your own physical world. You start to manifest once you do the work that is necessary. This is so powerful. And that message keeps coming through to me. A lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you need to express your feelings. This is so powerful. Okay, so that was looking at the month of August. I'm now going to give you a sneak peek of the month of September. We start off with Earth. So again, seeking out this stability. And a lot of it has to do with your overall happiness. A lot of you want a happy, stable life. This has to do with what you're manifesting. A lot of you want to manifest in your lives. Now, a lot of you, though, still do not want to go deep. Still don't want to go deep into your feelings. Now, for some of you, this is positive. This is dealing with being more realistic. With seeing things for what they really are. Right? This is blocking the illusion And that is for some of you, but some of you still are blocking yourselves. Some of you still don't want to go deep into your feelings.
And this is where a lot of you are blocking your transformation. This again, death, a lot of you are in fear of this death, in fear of this loss, this ending. And this is where you need to go. So for some of you, if you are not doing the work now, you may still be doing this work in the month of September. For a lot of you, I'm still seeing the same thing. A lot of you are not doing it. Even though I'm here telling you, a lot of you still will not do this. And we have water. A lot of you still will not go with the flow, still will not be receptive and open, still will not allow yourself to express your feelings. In Virgo in reverse, a lot of you blocking yourselves with these thoughts that you are having with this frame of mind that you are in. A lot of you are being overly analytical. Some of you being overly critical of yourselves, being anxious, worrying about the future, being stuck in this place of fear, repeating these old patterns that do not serve you in any way. That is where a lot of you are at. And some of you will not listen, will not do the work that's necessary. So a lot of you, some of you are still, still here in September, dealing with the same thing. You have to get out of this for a lot of you. For a lot of you, I'm here telling you this because I want to see you succeed. I want to see you manifest what you want to bring into your life. For a lot of you, for every one of you, but I say for a lot of you because I know that some of you aren't going to do the work. Some of you are going to listen to this and still not make the changes. So this is important and this is why I'm showing you a sneak peek at September so that you know that right now is time for you to change so that you're not still here in September. And again, it ends in Pisces being sensitive, being vulnerable, being open, going with the flow, accepting, feeling, there's nothing wrong with that. That's exactly what you need. So that was looking at a sneak peek of the month of September as well as the month of August. If this helped you in any way, leave a comment down below.
to help others, to show others how this can help them on their path as well. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And I hope you all have a great day.